Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with BoatingTechTalk.com. We've got a question from Jason. Jason has a Magnum inverter charger, the ME2012, 20, or the first part, 2000, is the watts, 12 is the voltage, so it's a 2000 watt, 12 volt inverter charger. And I would like to use a Magnum battery monitor or a standalone battery monitor. So what's your choice? So the good news is, um, Magnum actually makes a device called the BMK, Bravo Mic Kilo, and it's a plug-in, and it actually plugs into the inverter itself. Now remember, your inverter should be close to your batteries, right? It should be because you can't, the voltage drop is too much. It can't handle that much current over a long cabling. So generally, batteries and inverter are really close. Good. The BMK is a little device, a little black box, and what it does, it actually has a few inputs, uh, one of which is voltage of the battery at the battery, which is important, and that's what you need for a battery monitor. You want to be able to measure battery voltage, not at the inverter, but battery voltage at the battery bank. So that's one thing. And the other thing it comes with is a shunt. And a shunt is good to measure both current going in the battery bank and current going out of the battery bank, right? So that's another good thing. And the good news is that Magnum uh, makes a remote control. I think it's called the RC50, or they even have the ARC. So R is Romeo Charlie uh, 50, and it's a remote panel. And on there, there's one of the buttons at the bottom that calls that says meters. And if you press the meter button, button and you have a BM, BMK, so Bravo My Kilo, uh, you'll suddenly have your remote panel for your inverter charger also be a battery monitor sort of portal. Um, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles of other battery monitors like the Victron or the Blue Seas one. I'm not saying that it's got all that, but most of us, honestly, with battery monitors are looking for, realistically, three pieces of information. Uh, what's the battery voltage, which is good, but that's not a battery monitor, that's just battery voltage. It happens to be a good piece of information for troubleshooting. What is battery voltage? Second, what are the amps going in and out of the battery bank? Super important. And then lastly, what is basically the amp hours or battery percentage? So what is my battery capacity? So those are really the three sort of variables that most of us use for a battery monitor. There's way more, but the BMK gives you all three of that. So I'd say 95 plus percent of the time when we're installing a Magnum inverter charger, we'll be also installed on BMK. Yes, of course, some owners want more information and you know we're all different, but in the general sense, most of us are gonna be quite happy with the BMK and it makes installation a breeze because remember, you don't have to mount a new monitor somewhere because it's already part of your inverter charger RC50 remote and you don't have to run a cable, which is great. So it makes the whole installation of a battery monitor pretty low in terms of headaches or time. So that's why we're a big proponent of the BMK from Magnum. So definitely good question, and I would stick with the BMK if I've got Magnum on my boat. Unless, of course, you love tons of information and you feel like geeking out, and in that case, you might consider a specific, separate battery monitor that's gonna give you more information. Great question, Jason. Thanks for asking. Thank you for watching this uh, PYS video. If you've got further questions, please ask it below or contact us on our contact form on our website. I'm happy to donate my time to share information with you. You can support us in keeping our channel ad-free by purchasing some merch on our store or making a donation through PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.